Hey, this is Quinn from Nook Reviews, and I'm going to show you how to navigate around your Nook. Now, if you've been able to get through the packaging to actually get your Nook out, that was the hardest part. From here on out, the interface is very simple and very easy to navigate. So to awake your Nook, you simply press the button on top. You're then brought to this home screen. Now what you'll see is a wallpaper that you can designate yourself. I've taken a picture, dragged it over via USB, and placed this wallpaper in the background. As you can see on the touchscreen display, you have five options. The daily, my library, shop, reading now, and settings. We'll talk about all those, but we're going to start with the daily. Once you get to the daily, you'll notice that it's kind of like a feed reader. There's a lot of things that you can see all in one place. Now, it'll notify you of different things, notify you of subscriptions. So if you're subscribed to a magazine or a newspaper, the availability to download it will appear here. There will also be software updates that will come into this feed. So if you're ever running a new or an older firmware, the newer version will appear in this list and you can update that way. Now you can support sort these by most recent, the type and the author. And as you can see, there's two uh, sections called Grin and Tonic and Daybook. Now if you select these, no, excuse me, that's the wrong one. Now if you select these, it's very, very simple. These cycle every day. Uh, they're just little snippets, usually one to five pages long. And you can all see that through there. Very easy. Now we can navigate backwards, and then at any time you can press the end button to navigate back to your Nook's home screen. Okay, so now we're going to visit My Library. This is pretty much where the heart of your Nook resides, and this is where you'll be spending the most time. Now, there's two different libraries within inside My Library. There's your Barnes & Noble Library, and then if you push My Documents, you can also view your Documents Library. These documents can be PDFs, text files, that you drag over to your Nook via USB using your computer. Now we're going to go back and visit My Barnes & Noble Library. Up here we'll display all of the titles of books that we've purchased or that we've got on our device. You can toggle up and down using the arrow buttons here and then you can select by pressing the circle button. When you select a book it will navigate into reading. We'll get into that in a minute. First we're going to talk about our library. So you navigate back to my library and you can display and view the items in a bunch of different ways. Now you can view the items details and you can say the shack doesn't look like something I'm ready to do and you can archive it along with a few other features which means you file it away you get rid of it and say alright I'm done with this book you can also show the covers now this is kind of cool it looks much like the iPhone and iTunes interface where you can find the book that you want based on its cover you click on it and it begins the book you can also check for new Barnes & Noble content. If you've downloaded something off of barnesandnoble.com, you can navigate it and uh, automatically download it to your Nook by simply pressing this button. You can also search. If you have a lot of titles, you can find books very easily that way. You can sort by uh, three different ways. The most recent, alphabetically by title, and alphabetically by author. I've chosen most recent just because it's the way I like it. And then you can show all books or show the books that uh, you can also choose to show ebooks, magazines, newspapers. And then you can choose to show archived items, which are books you've already read. So now we're going to go into the shop. The shop is very, very simple and uh, easy to navigate through. And this is how you'll get new titles onto your Nook. Now, it's very, once again, pretty simple. You can search via book title or author. You can also navigate up and down to new sellers, uh, best sellers, uh, Barnes & Noble recommendations, and so we're going to navigate here into best sellers, and there's a gigantic list of books that they recommend. If I look through this and say, hmm, nothing looks interesting, simply press the side button to navigate another page. Now the last song from Nicholas Sparks, I heard that was good. Navigate down to it and press the circle button. I then can see the average star rating, which is five stars by 412 people. Must be a pretty good book. I can download a free sample and read the first chapter and see if that's something I'm interested in. You can also read the overview. And then I can either buy it for the price that's listed, 809 or I can choose to add to my e-wish list. 
Now, I'm not going to buy that book, but that's simply what you can do inside of your uh, Barnes & Noble ebook store. You can also choose the highlights they offer here by navigating to the side. And the bottom screen should, there you go, cycle based on the way you touch it. So that's pretty neat. So we're going to push the Nook button to get home and jump into reading now. What you can do while physically reading a book. So we're going to go into a real book here as this is a sample that I'm currently viewing. Okay, so this is a book I purchased. It was $9.99 uh, in the Barnes & Noble store. And uh, I can choose to do a bunch of different things to this book. Now, I can search and find any text anywhere in the book, which is pretty cool. You can search a phrase or you can search a specific word to reference earlier or later into the book. You can also go to a certain point. If you don't want to flip manually through all the copyright information, the dedication, you can jump directly to the first page or you can jump to different chapters within the book. Now there's also bookmarks. I can choose to bookmark this page so later I can come back to it. Now your Nook will automatically bookmark the book that you're reading if you just click the home button. When I jump into the reading now it will take me directly back to the page I stopped on and it's pretty good. Now font. I can choose the font that I want, the text size and the text font. You can also highlight and note stuff. So you can go to a specific word or a phrase. Uh, you can either highlight it, which will simply highlight it, and then you can add notes, which will appear as subscripts that you can reference to earlier. Now you can look up a word. I really like this feature. If you're reading a book and you don't quite understand, let's go to decided. Obviously everyone knows what that word is, but if you didn't, you could look it up. It would look through Barnes & Noble's expansive dictionary and the definition appears. Very neat. So we're going to push OK and navigate back to our book. Now that's pretty much the interface there. You can also open an audio player. Now this is available in pretty much every section of the Nook. It can work while you're reading, downloading stuff, looking at the daily. And uh, you simply load songs via uh, your computer using this as the uh, mountable USB drive. Um, it's nothing like an iPod. I mean, very simple, very basic. You can control volume, control where the song you want to be played. You can also uh, control to shuffle it, and you can look at specific playlists. So we're going to pause that right now and escape out from that. Now last, we're going to jump into settings. In settings, on this upper screen will be your serial information and a bunch of other stuff like that. You can choose to toggle airplane mode on or off, so if you are on an airplane, the radios inside the Barnes & Noble, 3G and Wi-Fi won't interfere with the plane's equipment. Um, you can also select Wi-Fi. Now you can choose to have the Wi-Fi on or turned off. It's personal preference, and if you have a network in your house, then great, use it. If not, you can use that as well. Now the display, you can change the lower display, the upper display, touchscreen timer, wallpapers, all that neat stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Within the whole nut, very, very simple device, very excellently used. And to put it back to sleep, you simply press this button on top. That's the walkthrough of the Nook, how to use it. Now jump in, get started.